Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy AOT Tom West, man, back at it again with another video. And today, I know a lot of y'all been watching the NFL um, combine for the college students that are transferring into the to the draft this upcoming season. And um, <clears throat> I really want to go over the offensive players uh, and how they did throughout the combine. I know the defensive players are actually going right now as I'm recording this, so we'll probably do a video on that maybe Tuesday or something like that, maybe Monday or Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday. But um, what I want to talk about was the top five winners from each position at their um, at the offensive combine. Um, I'll start off with the quarterbacks. Um, I looked at a lot of the quarterbacks. I think Trevor Knight had a good day. Uh, he had the fastest 40 time from Texas A&M as a quarterback, so he did really good. But I think the biggest winner, and this is not be, me being a homer or nothing like that, but I honestly believe the biggest winner for the quarterbacks would probably be Deshaun Watson. He had a pretty good 40 time. He came in at a 4.68, and on his second run, he had a 4.67, which is about what you know what everybody expected for Deshaun Watson. Um, as well, Mitch Trubisky also had a very good day coming in at a 4.67 as well. And uh, he started out the first one with a 4.68. So he had a pretty good day. Did a lot of passing drills very crisply. You know, had a good day overall. Mitch Trubisky and, um, you know, Deshaun Watson, I would probably say, were the two biggest um, winners. I also would probably even say at the quarterback position, Joshua Dobbs from Tennessee was another good talent that actually probably raised his draft stock at the combine. He did a tremendous job in the uh, passing drills, and he had a good 40 time too. I believe he had like a 4.64, 4, 4. 4.65, so he had a good 40 time as well. Um, the running backs, um, a lot of you guys know, this running back draft is loaded. Um, Leonard Fournette did amazing. Um, you know what I'm saying? I think he ran a 4.51, which is tremendous for a dude that's 240 pounds. Um, you know, he had a really good uh, drill as well. But honestly, I think the biggest winner in the running back position would be Christian McCaffrey. Um, you know, I really watched his workout, his 40. And I'm going to be honest, I'm really not a huge Christian McCaffrey fan, to be honest. But this guy was explosive. Um, he ran a 4. He ran a 4.8. Um, he did all his shuttle drills. He did all the drills. Um on the vertical, I believe he got somewhere around, um, I think like a 37.5, which is like amazing. Um, you know what I'm saying? He did a great job. And I think, honestly, in the running back position, he was probably the biggest winner. I think he really validated himself from beginning of second round to almost middle to end of first round. So somebody's going to take him probably in the first round. Um, also, I think Dalvin Cook had a tremendous day as well. I think he ran a something around like a four, uh, four five, right around yeah four four nine. So he ran right about a four five, and um, he was very athletic. He just looked very athletic, he was very powerful, which we all know. Like I said, with me being a Clemson fan, I've seen Dalvin Cook cook us literally every year. So I know he's explosive. He's a big time playmaker, and um, yeah, I think those three running backs were probably the biggest winners. But I want to give a special shout out to uh, Tariq Cochran from a and um, They call him the human juke stick because this guy is ridiculous. And um, you know what I'm saying? He ran a 4.42. Uh, his vertical was a 31.5. And this guy is short. He's probably like maybe 5.8, 190, 185 area. This dude is talented, though. He's tremendous, has tremendous speed, tremendous quickness. So that's another guy that I would like for y'all to look out for later on in the draft. Um... At the wide receiver position, it was a lot of good wide receivers, but we have to talk about John Ross running the 4-2-2. I mean, honestly, he ran that effortlessly with cramps in his leg. Like, I really honestly think if he wouldn't have cramped up, he probably could have ran like a 4-1-something. Like, this guy is stupid fast. Like, a lot of people said they clocked him in at 4-1-8. So, I mean, I don't even really know. So, honestly, this guy is stupid fast. He definitely rides his, uh, his uh, draft stock a lot yesterday. I don't think nobody ever ran that quick before. Yeah, he beat Chris Johnson out of his record. Because I think Chris Johnson was like a 4-2-4 or a something like that. So he beat Chris Johnson. This guy's talented. I watched him a lot at Washington. He's, he's a good player. Um, Mike Williams also had another good day. He's just a big wide receiver. He really didn't have to run a great 40 time. I believe his 40 time was somewhere around like 4, 5, 8, 4, 5. 
you know, seven area. But, you know what I'm saying? He ran a tremendous 40 for his size. The dude's like 6'3", 215, so he's a nice size kid. Um, the tight end class is so loaded this year. Tremendously loaded. I like the Jordan Leggett from Clemson. He looked amazing. I also like the kid from um, from Ingram, from Ole Miss. Tremendous. He ran like a 4. I think he ran a 4, 4, 7 or something like that. I, I gotta look that up. I think it was a 4, 4, 7 or something like that. A 4, 4, 5. It was something in that area, but this guy is stupid fast for his size. He's a, I, you know, I've watched him at Ole Miss, you know, when they had Chad Kelly and when they had Bo Kelly, uh, uh, what's the other dude that they have? Bo, Bo something. For you Ole Miss fans, get in the comment section and let me know what his name is. But it's Bo, Bo Jackson, Bo, Bo something. I just can't remember his name right now. But uh, when they had him as well, this dude is talented, man. I'm telling you, he is a true talent. I mean, I honestly think he's a better pick than O.J. Howard. That's just me from Alabama. A lot of people are going to put O.J. Howard up there first. But honestly, this dude, Evan Ingram, is the truth, man. I would not be surprised if he's the first tight end taken off the board. And, you know, I want you guys to get in the comment box and tell me some of y'all people that y'all thought were very good and that they made really big jumps into the combine. And there's also other players that should get honorable mention. Like, I think O.J. Howard did have a good one, you know what I'm saying? T.J. Logan ran one of the fastest 40 times. So, you know what I'm saying? These kids are not getting that much notice, but they actually did a really good job. I can't wait to do the defensive class because, you know, I'm a defensive person. So, we'll be definitely doing the defensive combines probably, like I said, Tuesday or Wednesday after they, you know, after they go tomorrow and maybe even into Tuesday. I'm not sure. But when the defensive combines wrap up, we will get into those. And I just want to get you guys comments and think, see what y'all think about these different uh, prospects and how did they do in the combine. I'll see y'all.